So, afternoon everybody. I'm Dee Collins, I'm the Temporary Chief Constable here at West Yorkshire Police. Just before one o'clock today, Joe Cox, MP for Batley and Spenborough, was attacked in Market Street, Burstall. I am now very sad to have to report that she has died as a result of her injuries. Before going into further detail, I would like to express our deepest sympathies to her family and friends at this tragic time. Jo was attacked by a man who inflicted serious and sadly ultimately fatal injuries. Subsequently, there was a further attack on a 77-year-old man nearby who has sustained injuries that are non-life-threatening. Shortly afterwards, a man was arrested nearby by local uniform police officers. Um, MPs have in the past uh, expressed concerns about their safety within surgeries. Was this something that Joe had ever mentioned to you? Did she feel at all vulnerable, exposed by that kind of interaction with the public? Not to my not to my knowledge. Clearly, we need to let the investigation fully take its course, as the chief has said. Um, appeal to witnesses that may have seen or heard the tragic incidents that took place this afternoon and clearly we'll be looking at every aspect of what led to this truly shocking uh, attack and sadly Joe being killed. Clearly there's an awful lot of evidence gathering to be done. Do you have the, the, the weapons that were involved in this incident? Um, as I said in the uh, opening statement, we have recovered some weapons, yes, and therefore we will be able to examine those very closely. Um, again, we're in the very early stages. We are um, attending a number of scenes, as you would imagine, as part of this investigation. And clearly we will be looking very carefully at what evidence we may or may not be able to recover from those places. Our working presumption is indeed that this is a lone incident. Um, the indications through our professional experience are suggesting that we have got high visibility patrols now in the areas in terms of making sure that the local community feel reassured and obviously we've also been making sure that um, key individuals within our localities are also being briefed. So we are doing our very best to reassure everybody. I think the most important fact here at the moment um, is the fact that we do have one male under arrest. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. This is an ongoing investigation. Obviously, there are any more updates to the report of this incident and channel all of our thoughts into supporting the families and communities affected at this time. Thank you. What I can tell you is that we are trying to establish what we do know about this gentleman together with other agencies and what information they may, may have that they can share with us. Um, we're not able to say at present. Obviously, at the moment, the inquiries have just started. What I would do is appeal to any witnesses who were in the area at the time to come and tell us what they saw and what they heard so that we can factually find out exactly what's happened in this terrible case.